Now, I don't really make these type of videos, but I really love handheld gaming, so I think we need to talk about the new ROG Ally coming. And is this really going to kill the Steam Deck? Recently, we got leaked photos of the price of the most powerful ROG Ally. This device starts at $700, and not too sure what the less powerful one is priced at, but I'm assuming it's going to be close to the Steam Deck's price, so around $400 or $500 because of the specs of it. Now, for what you're getting, that's not too bad. When I say it's not too bad, I'm referring to the price. Not everyone will be willing to spend $700 on a handheld, especially when Nintendo offers their OLED Switch, priced at $350. Of course, this is not the same as the Switch, but still, price matters to a lot. The ROG Ally has a 7-inch 1920x1080 resolution IPS LCD display with 120Hz. Basically what that means, in short, it's an amazing display. It's amazing. 120Hz. 1080p, it's great. Asus has also opted for a 16x9 aspect ratio, which is a little more rectangular than the Steam Deck's 16x10 counterpart. The Ally has a brighter screen, capable of climbing up to 500 nits, whereas the Steam Deck is limited to 400 nits. It will also come with Windows 11 and thus being compatible with a lot more of games. But most of our games are on Steam anyways, for most of us, so Steam Deck does a great job right there just being SteamOS. The ROG Ally is 50% faster than the Steam Deck at the same power draw 15 watts. Twice as fast at full power 30 watts, up to 8 times faster than the Nintendo Switch if you're wondering. It's also running AMD's new Z1 and Z1 Extreme chip, XTF Max. Now for the date, leakers claim that the Asus ROG Ally will be launched in October 2023 and May 11th is the live event and pre-order I believe. A lot of people thought it's gonna be out on May 11th but that's not the case. Now look, spec wise the Asus ROG Ally is far better than the Steam Deck. I mean 1080p, 120Hz, that alone is a step up. But the deck actually wins in a lot of areas. For starters, grip. Now I only know about two YouTubers that got their hands on this device, which is the Ally, and I think that's Dave and Linus. From what they said, and from what it looks like, the grips are not as comfortable compared to the Steam Deck. They talked about how it's made to like use on a desk and while you're holding it and on your lap, which kind of defeats the whole purpose of a handheld device, especially at its price point. But maybe that's just me and I feel like the grips won't be as good as the Steam Deck's grips because the Steam Deck, as big as it is, it's very comfortable. And I'll take the comfort over anything any day. Another thing, now this might just be me once again, but the actual look and color of the device, I wish it was black and I hate the D-pad, like what is that? They should have just gone with a normal D-pad, but hey, this is just me, everyone's different, but it just looks uncomfortable in my opinion. Also, we are losing two amazing and important features when it comes to a PC handheld. The trackpad and gyro, well the gyro to some. The Steam Deck's trackpad aren't quite precise enough to replace a gaming mouse for controlling first person shooters but it is very useful for menu navigation in desktop mode. A popular feature on the Steam Deck that a lot of people love is the gyroscope controls, which allow players to look around in 3D games without moving the control sticks. However, not every game benefits from gyro controls, but still a lot of people like this and will love to see it with the ROG Ally, but it doesn't look like the ROG Ally has gyro. Overall, I think the ROG does beat the Steam Deck in specs, but they're both different machines. Completely different in price and in specs. Of course, the ROG is higher in specs, but the Steam Deck has a lot that the ROG doesn't have. One will love the Ally over the deck, and the other will love the deck over the Ally. It's its own. Anyway, that's it for me. Let me know in the comments what's your thoughts on the Ally and the Steam Deck. Which one you would use, which one you're currently using, if you are going to upgrade to the Ally, or if you haven't bought one yet, which one are you thinking to buy? Me personally, as powerful and cool the ROG Ally is, I personally love the Steam Deck. Although it's bigger, it's just much more comfortable. I definitely would use the Steam Deck over the Asus. Maybe I'll get to try the Asus in stores whenever it comes. But for now, the, the Steam Deck is absolutely amazing. The grips are great. The trackpads are great. The gyro is great. The screen is great. The battery life is amazing. I mean, it does fairly well with the battery. It depends on what you play, obviously. If you're playing something like Cyberpunk, great settings or whatever, of course it's going to die. But if you change up your settings a little bit, you can get a good amount of time. And as I said, depends on the game. Same thing with the Ally, I'm assuming you can change up the settings as well so you get longer gameplay timing. But remember, 120Hz 1080p screen, that will draw more power. 
if you're plugged into an outlet i guess you can play for a longer time but it will use more power so i'm curious to see how that is but um i'm definitely although i'm not gonna get the ally i'm definitely hyped for the event on may 11th which is next week i believe so yeah let me know your thoughts in the comment section i know this video is very different from what i normally do like my tech reviews but i really love handheld gaming ever since i was a kid so i definitely wanted to touch on this and share with you guys my thoughts and why the deck is not dead but anyways that is for me hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did you know what to do and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out